to start with a quick statement. We'll take questions. Yeah, I was uh, proud of the way our team fought. Thought they uh, came out with the right energy and attitude. You know, took a three nothing lead. Um, had a uh, you know critical fourth down there in the first quarter that that uh, they were able to convert on, and then we had a fourth down in the second quarter that we weren't able to convert on, and kind of flipped the momentum. And a game like this, when you're playing against the number one team in the country, you, you gotta you gotta make those plays, and and we didn't make them today. Um, but I was proud of our guys and, and uh, get ready for next week. If you've got a question for Coach Strinkwitz, please use the raise hand function. We'll start with Mitchell Forty. Eli, obviously saw both Tyler and Brady behind center. What was just kind of your impressions of, uh, of how each guy played today? I'll have to go back and watch film. I thought both of them had good and bad, both um, some learning experiences for both of them. Uh, we, we weren't really – able to, to consistently throw the football with them, and that's something we're going to have to work on. Eric Blum? Yeah, Eli, it seemed like the rush defense actually did pretty well today. You know, was the plan kind of to stack the box coming in and try and see if Stetson and Bennett could beat you with his arm, or what was kind of the thought behind that? Yeah, I mean, we were trying to stop the run. That's what they do, and, and uh, when you do that, then you're susceptible to, to the pass yards and, and – uh, Credit them. They made a couple of really good plays, a couple of really good catches. Emily Liker. Hi, Eli. Jalen Carley's had that interception today, and then I believe 10 tackles as well. Just what did you think of how he played um, with your secondary today? Yeah, I just told him before the game, you know, he belongs in that field. He's a really special player, and he's got a really bright future. And, you know, this is his first year to really play free safety, and so he's growing and developing and, and uh, really like what his future is going to be for us. Really proud of him. Dave Matter. Eli, the, the quarterback plan, was it to kind of a scripted rotation throughout? Would, would you go with the hot hand if you felt like somebody was coming off of a good drive? Or how how'd you go about that? Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, we told them both they were going to play, and I thought Mako uh, had, you know, the first couple of drives, and Brady had a couple of drives, and just trying to see if, if one of them could really spark us and sustain it. Um, you know, both of them did some good things. Natalie Jones. Hey, Coach, curious, you know, what was your message to your team in the locker room after this game? Yeah, basically the same thing I told you all. I was proud of their effort, but uh, we got to play cleaner. we got a three-game season left, uh, and our backs are against the wall. We need everybody uh, pushing in the same direction to try to get this thing to a bowl game, and uh, that's what our total focus is, and uh, that's what everybody's got to do. they got to flush this one. And we got to show up tomorrow ready to go to work and, and uh, do everything we can to, to get ready for South Carolina. Lila Bromberg. Eli, with that blocked punt um, and then Georgia being able to score quickly, just how much do you think that change in momentum in the game and um, just kind of turn things around there quickly in the second quarter after the start you guys had? Yeah, yep. Yeah, they, they scored and then we went three and out, blocked the punt. And then uh, they were able to go down and score again. Then we went down and missed the fourth down conversion. So uh, it was a really big momentum swing and, and uh, obviously something that can't happen. Um, uh, again, we didn't play clean enough. We played with good enough effort, uh, but we didn't execute at a high enough level. And uh, we got to work on that. Mason Arneson. Hey coach, it seemed like on those last couple possessions, there were some more downfield passing plays than we saw in the first three quarters. What kind of caused you to adjust that game plan down the stretch? Um, probably more confidence in our ability to throw the ball at those moments. Jack Sobel. Uh, Eli, uh, obviously a really tough defensive front for uh, Georgia. Uh, How do you think your offensive line played today? You know, I'll have to go back and watch tape, uh, but felt like that they created some opportunities for us in the run game. You know, uh, I thought our quarterbacks were able to run for a few yards. Uh, you know, the game plan going in was to try to stay as close as we could through the first half uh, and then see if we couldn't create some momentum in the second half. And felt like we tried that. Obviously, we, we, we had the surprise onside kick to start the second half that uh, you know, got buzzed out from, from uh, the home office. So, you know, just – didn't work out the way we wanted it to. Mitchell 40. Eli, you all got down to the red zone on your second offensive possession. It kind of stalled when you had that uh, looked like a miscommunication between Tyler Macon and Tyler Beatty. Are you able to, to kind of identify what went wrong on that play? Yep. 
uh, we, we, uh, we were supposed to have a speed motion out of the backfield and, and, uh, we just, we, we didn't, we didn't get that done. Uh, it's on me. It's on me. It's on me. Right. And a final question from Dave Matter. Eli, was Connor close enough to where you oh, yeah, back next week? Or is too early to know. Too, ar too early to know. Soft tissue injury. Uh, won't know till probably Wednesday or Thursday next week. Be right back with the players. Thanks, y'all. Thank y'all.